everyone, this is Hibba from My Little Journal, and today I'm excited to be setting up my 2023 Scrappy Spiral Notebook. Um, before I start setting up my 2023 and working on my first spread in my 2023 Scrappy Spiral Notebook, I wanted to do a quick flip through of my 2022. I am not done with my 2022. I think I'm at December, if I'm not mistaken. And I did actually start like working on December, but I do have to add, you know, my embellishments and my stamping and things like that. But I thought it would be fun to do a quick flip through of my 2022 and then we can start setting up my 2023 Scrappy Spiral Notebook. If you're not familiar with this notebook, I do have a class in my Etsy shop. I will have it linked in the description box for you. I share all the details about this notebook, how to set it up, uh, photo printing, embellishing, all that good stuff. But for now, we're just gonna do a flip through. I did wanna also mention that I discovered this notebook uh, from Moochie Things, and I really just fell in love. When I saw it, I knew I could do something with it. And um, before I start again, I wanted to share that it's a very simple layout. And it's a great way if you want to start scrapbooking, but you don't want to do all or put all the effort <laughs> into scrapbooking. This is the notebook for you. Basically, once I purchased this notebook and started in March of 2022, I believe, I just became obsessed. I think it's a great way to document your life, especially if you want to do something similar to Project Life. This is a great notebook to start with. Uh, I just, I'm obsessed. I love it very, very much, and I can't wait to start my 2023. But anyways, let's go ahead and start. I did cover my cover. Uh, I did my own, like, uh, numbers on there. I also did add something to my title page just to make it cutesy um, because this notebook is very basic. I wanted to make it my own. I also did change out the spirals, which also I mention and share how to do that in my class but let's take a look i'm gonna put some music on for you and flip through my scrappy spiral notebook Okay, so that is a quick flip through of my 2022 Scrappy Spiral Notebook. As you can see, I'm still not done. There is a few pages in here that's missing, maybe journaling or something like that. But it turned out so good. I love it so much. I'm so excited to start the year, like the beginning of the year in my Scrappy Spiral Notebook. Just because I discovered this in March and wanted to try it out. And I love it. I love seeing what everybody's doing with their own Scrappy Spiral notebooks. It's such a simple way to document your life. So now that we're done with our little flip through, let's move on and start setting up 2023. I am going to uh, speed it up and do a voiceover for you because I do want to uh, create a fun little cover and probably cover that title page. I also purchased some new um, monthly tabs and I also added some new or I want to add some new printouts in here. So I want to share all that with you. I don't want this video to be too long. So let's get to it and set up 2023. 
Okay, let's start working on my cover page. So I went ahead and covered this with a grid pattern paper, and I thought I could use these vellum numbers from Studio Calico to add 2023. Now, before I start with the process, I do have to thank my friend Karen. She is one of my Peaches members here on YouTube. I was looking for another two, and I couldn't find two twos in my little stash, and she was kind enough to send me one of her twos so I can add 2023 to my cover page on my scrappy spiral notebook. I just knew ahead of time that I wanted to use these vellum numbers. They're so pretty and bright, and she was kind enough to send me hers, so I'm going to use these vellum numbers to add 2023. I went through my stash again because I felt like I wanted a darker zero, and thank God I had a darker one. So I'm going to be using that one instead. I like how it looks, so I'm going to go ahead and stick them down. Now, because these are vellum, I'm not going to be adding a lot of tape to this because I didn't want it to kind of uh, come through the vellum numbers. But I was thinking maybe I'm going to run this cover through my laminator and laminate this i'm not sure yet but for now i'm just gonna keep it as is and hopefully these numbers don't fall off So while I was adding my numbers, I felt like I needed to break them down a little bit, uh, probably by adding an embellishment. So I decided to use this uh, die cut pack from the paper person shop. And it's all about New Year. And I love this one. It said the year of the rabbit, I believe, or happy year of the rabbit. I'm not even sure. But I'm going to use that to break down my numbers. It also brightens up my numbers a little bit and call my cover done. I'm going to go ahead and open up my notebook to that first page. I really don't like this first page, my scrappy spiral notebook from Moochie Things. So what I decided to do is use this notebook from Everyday Explorers to cut out one of the arts from that notebook. There's so many different artists within that notebook. There's postcards, there's stickers. It's such a pretty notebook. I will link it in the description box for you, but I love this artwork. I really wanted to add it into my notebook. I think it's going to bring me a lot of joy every time I open my scrappy spiral notebook. So I am going to use that as my intro page. And then I'm going to use one of these printouts, the January for my dividers. So I bought these printouts from Etsy. They're very simple and I like them a lot because they're simple. I will make them my own by adding some stamping and washi tape and stickers and things like that. So I start by stamping. This year has to be better than the last. I will also grab some Studio Calico washi tape. This is the new washi that released in January at Studio Calico. It's beautiful. It has the days of the week. So I'm just going to add it to the top. And I will also grab some new washi that I bought from Pinky Elephant. It is gorgeous. I love this washi. And I'm so excited to start using it. But I'm going to trim out one of the flowers and add that to my little cluster just to make this a little bit colorful and make it my own as well. I'm going to be using these printouts as my dividers throughout my scrappy spiral notebook for the year. I think they look better than the tabs, but if I feel like I need tabs later, I can always add them as well. going to work on my first spread for 2023. So I'm going to be documenting New Year's Eve and day in my 2023 Scrappy Spiral Notebook. I have photos from our day. We went and watched Avatar as a family. And then we met up with my parents and my sister and her husband and had dinner together, spent the evening together. So I wanted to add some of those photos in there. And I also want to add my journaling as well. And I'm still adding my journaling on transparency paper and sticking them down in my scrappy spiral notebook. I love this stuff. It works perfectly for my scrappy spiral notebook. 
Anyways, I went back to that die cut pack from the paper person shop and I'm going to be adding a few of those die cuts to my spread. So I go with Happy New Year 2023. I also found one that said Hello 2023. So I'm just adding it to my photos and some of those boxes. I also grabbed the stamp set from Studio Calico and it says Happy New Year. I'm going to keep it simple. As you guys know, the Scrappy Spiral Notebook is about keeping things simple, just probably adding a title, some embellishing, and just having fun with it. And if you guys didn't know, I do have a class talking all about the Scrappy Spiral Notebook. I share photos, printing photos, measurements in that uh, class, which I will have linked in the description box for you. It is a class through Etsy, so you would have to check out my Etsy shop. Anyways, I grabbed a different stamp set from the paper person shop, and I'm gonna stamp in 2023, life looks like this. And I will also add a stamped heart as well at the top of that, just to fill out that little box there. And then I'm gonna go ahead and stick down my die cuts. Now that I have my die cuts stuck down, I can go ahead and stamp that little heart. I'm going to stamp it with this beautiful melon ink from close to my heart. And then I'm going to go back into my stash and try to find something to add underneath Happy New Year. I felt like that space was empty. I really wanted a ticket that would match just because, you know, we went to the movies that day. So I actually found one that fit perfectly. So I'm gonna go ahead and stick down this little ticket. I think it said one day at a time. And once I stick that down, I can call my layout done. Anyways, don't forget, I will be linking everything I shared and used down in the description box for you. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye.